Hello, today we're going to talk about using um and er uh to buy time when you're giving answers in speaking part one and speaking part three. Although native speakers do use um and er uh in order to buy time when they're answering questions, if you do this too much, it will affect your score. Especially if it's obvious that you're thinking of a word rather than an idea, perhaps in speaking part three. So our recommendation is that you learn a number of time buying phrases in order to fill that time and give yourself time to think. Some common useful time buying phrases include, let me see, let me think. That's a tough question. I've never thought about that before. As an example, if the examiner were to ask, what's your favorite day of the week? You'd be like, hmm, let me think. I guess I'd probably have to say it's a Sunday because it's the only day I have off and therefore I have to relax with my family and friends. So in conclusion, try to avoid saying um and er uh because it will be hesitation. Think and use time buying phrases instead. And of course, know that none of this will actually benefit your score. It will just prevent the pausing or hesitation from reducing your fluency score. Focus instead on developing a wider vocabulary around common IELTS topics. That's all for now. Keep checking our website for the next update. Goodbye.